guys, it's Devin and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a sit down, chatty kind of video talking about Cullen and his speech delay update. A lot of you guys have been asking about Cullen, about his speech, about what we're doing with him. So I really wanted to just do a video talking about his progress, how he's doing, what our plan is, um, answer any of the questions that I've seen in the comments in, on my Instagram as well as on my YouTube channel. So let's just get started. Um, one thing that I want to address is I definitely notice in any vlog videos or something when Cullen's talking, a lot of people will say like, oh, it doesn't sound like he's delayed. Does he even have a delay anymore? Um, that kind of thing. And, you know, I've done these speech delay videos because we've had a huge struggle with Cullen since he was two years old. He wasn't talking um, at all really for quite some time and now he's doing great and he's talking a lot and he's blossoming and he's doing wonderful and I know that that comes across in the video so I don't want you guys to get discouraged if your son or daughter is not there yet. This is my own personal experience so what I always say in my speech delay um, videos is talk to your doctor if you're concerned. Um, early interventions have been absolutely amazing for our family and they've done wonders. Um, so I definitely think that if you're nervous about it, if you're concerned, talk to your doctor. It can't hurt. Um, we noticed when my son was two and we got him evaluated and he's been in early intervention since. Um, at two he was barely talking, he didn't really have many words. Um, even up till four years old he was talking but it was just words, there wasn't really sentences. Um, it's been a slow progression so more and more words each year and I could understand what he was talking about probably by four he was putting like two to three maybe words together no filler words like proper sentence structure and then all of a sudden you guys it's been clicking and he is talking so much he's talking in sentences he's expressing himself he's so much more social he's telling me stories he's interested now in um, learning more like letters and numbers. He's asking me um, when we're reading books what certain things say, so he's like kind of interested in reading now. So it's amazing and he's doing so good and I'm so proud of him. He's still not where he should be. He's probably still probably a year behind where he should be, but the gap is slowly closing and that makes me so happy. So I just want to share with you guys our experience because I know every kid is different, every situation is different, every reason for speech delay is different. So like I said, talk to your doctor. I don't want to tell you if you guys do this, this, and this, your child is going to start talking and it's going to be amazing because every situation is different, but I feel like hearing other stories from parents that were a positive outcome always encouraged me to keep going and I remember being so stressed and so nervous and worrying all the time, so it was encouraging to hear positive um, feedback even if the parent's situation wasn't the same as mine and my son. So. What we're doing with Cullen um, is we are homeschooling him this next year. He just turned five, um, so he was so he was supposed to be starting kindergarten this September, but I don't think he's ready for kindergarten. Um, like I said, because he is still a year behind, so we are keeping him home. I'm still going to have him in his preschool program. Um, the preschool that he's in specializes in speech therapy, and he has been in five days a week. Um, this whole past school year. Just the half day session though um, and it's really been helping him a lot but the only thing is when they're before they're of school age early intervention is free and is paid for um, but once they're of school age you, it's out of pocket so we're not going to be able to afford to send him every day. Uh, we're going to be sending him two um, half days a week and then possibly giving him an hour speech session with his teacher extra during the week um, one on one. So that's going to be really good for him, but I have to kind of fill in the gaps because he's not going to be in every day. So I'm kind of doing a makeshift homeschool kind of situation here at home. I'm going to be posting videos on things that I bought to use with him. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I've thought about homeschool for a while. I don't know if I can handle it. So that's kind of this year is going to be kind of a trial year to see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to be homeschooling him probably three days a week. I work part-time as a hairdresser, for those of you that don't know. Um, so I'm going to be using a curriculum that I can kind of 
personalized to fit our schedule and our routine. And because this is not like an official homeschooling year, it's, so this is really just going to be helping him build his foundations. So that's what we're going to be doing with him this coming year. I have thought about doing a instrument with him or something like that. I have a friend that's a piano teacher. I'm sure everybody is different and has a different thought on that. And she said usually six or seven is better. Um, so I'm going to wait, but I definitely want him to be in outside kind of classes as well. I've looked into the library, local to us, and they have tons of different classes. We've gone to a few this summer, kind of just to check it out. So I'm always going to be checking the libraries for what courses that they have available, as well as any like town activities. I think it's really good to get them out and doing things um, to learn outside of the home as well. And I know that's going to be good for me. For those of you that don't know, I also have a one and a half year old, so it's going to be really hard just to be home all the time teaching him in like a school like setting. So we're really going to have to be active and proactive with him as well. So that is our plan for Cullen. That's what we're going to be doing with him next year. I hope this um, is an encouragement for you guys and doesn't discourage you. Um, there was a lot of times when Cullen was in school that everyone says, oh, don't worry, it's just going to click all of a sudden um, when he turns two or when he turns three or when he turns four, and that didn't happen for us. It was a very gradual build. There was a time where it started making sense to him, and it was still gradual, but it kind of started picking up and I feel like now there's always new words, new phrases, almost every day of things that he's saying to me that's just cracking me up. He's just so funny. Um, makes me realize it was in there all along and he just couldn't express himself. So, so I really hope this gives you guys some encouragement and again if you guys have any questions at all please leave that in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you're not subscribed to our channel please subscribe for future updates. If you already subscribed, welcome back and definitely check us out at Drake's Nest on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.